All right, what's up, everybody? We are on season one, episode 16 of Steins Gate, which is called Sacrificial Necrosis. I will keep this intro relatively short because I did a lot of talking in the last episode, I gotta say. It was fantastic. I just came off of it. And um, yeah, we're, 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 well, the mission has gotten a little bit more complex, I guess, in general. I mean, it's still the same objective, of course. We're still trying to save Mayuri, but it looks like that's ultimately actually more looking to be our, our ultimate... Um, yeah, like our ultimate destination too, I guess, because the moment we manage to make that happen, we're probably going to be able to fix everything, if that makes sense. Because right now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to undo literally everything at this point. We're hoping to skip, of course, from that alpha to the beta uh, set of, of world lines. And uh, what we essentially need to do right now is... Well, <laughs> again, it's a lot, but... <laughs> so we need to get the IBM computer to hack into, I think, CERN's database to get rid of the very first message that Okarin sent, because that's basically the root of all evil. That's what triggered their, uh, what, what triggered CERN, basically, and how they managed to create their first time machine, and that's what fucked everything up, I think, if I'm putting it right. Again, it's kind of all complicated, right? At the same time, we're seeing how the group is, uh, you know, Daru is trying to, to fix that time machine so that Suza can go back to 1975 to get the IBM computer. Um, of course, in the meantime... I mean, we have a span of just two days, I think, right now, before Mayuri obviously gets killed again, because that always happens. Um, yeah, and like, <laughs> she she is basically using her free time to search for Sousa has that, which is really nice. Uh, the, the, the episode in general, what I love so much about it is that even though we have this sort of, we know what the outcome is going to be every single time, but like, knowing that Mayuri dies, the show is still making us warm up to it more and more and more and she's still showing that good side of her and it's just fucking fantastic at the same time we saw some really nice scenes also for example with daru which was definitely welcome for a change and i hadn't seen coming um actually the episode ended with okarin who at the very end was informed by the one guy who we saw on the street that the guy remembered the pin that he was showing him well there was something i mean he he's there might be some indication as to where suzaha's dad could be at I don't know if that will... Well, I can only imagine that that will still be important to the story too because Suza's dad might be able to actually help us out with fixing the, the time machine and um, resolving the whole situation, right? But all in all, there's like a lot going on, I will say that. The, the last episode also just in general clued us in a lot about how this set of events would have unfolded basically because of course Suza knows that she's literally from the future but our whole objective once again is to actually move on from this so that Miyuri doesn't get killed and that's not set in stone and all those other things don't happen as a snowball effect we don't get the dystopian future in 2036 um we don't get Okrin becoming apparently like a terrorist uh, founder a rebel uh, like a re rebellion founder I guess and Mark Sakurasu joining CERN apparently I still don't know if that's something to be believed like whether she actually would but uh, who knows you know it's 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 fascinating I very much wonder how we're gonna go back to that first episode what Mark Sekurusu's death was about there in the first place um whether that was like a purposeful thing they did to get Okarin to send that message or something like that but uh, again it's like <laughs> it's a little hard to uh, speculate about all things all of these things because it's just like so much and um way too many variables at play here with that being said guys we're gonna dive into episode 16 but of course do let me quickly let you know that over on patreon will of course already have the next eight ep episodes available straight away what that means is that we will be on episode 24 i think 24 episodes is what the main show of steins gate is supposed to have so we should be done with it. I know there is actually an, an episode 25, but I think that like that came a little afterwards or something, or it's more like a spin-off type thing, or it's not somehow again, you'll probably all you'll you'll know this better than I do. But uh I'm gonna of course continue this reaction series even way beyond episode 24, because I'm gonna watch all the spin-off stuff and the uh, uh Steins Gate Zero. I'm gonna be checking out straight away afterwards too. So this is gonna be a much bigger journey than just these 24 episodes. I'm just letting you know over on Patreon we'll be on episode 24 right now. And you can catch up on all of that along with, of course, full-length reactions if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. With that being said, let's get into episode 16 of Steins Gate. Here we go. So it's what donna or dot. Donna. So like a barrel. Like a barrel. 
Peter? That's where the nickname came from. Just a like a <laughs> what? Just that is fat or? <laughs> Taru? Just a taru. What the fuck does that even mean? Private information, nothing. まだ方法はある。明日のタイムリープマシンの完成を待ち、時間を遡れば。Ah, okay. Wait for him to show up. <laughs> so what, you're gonna have to wait an hour all day? Oh, wait, what is It's Daru? No, 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 Daru ain't gonna be a... that. What? What the fuck? I'd rather take the truth than, you know, yeah, a lie like that. タイムマシーンは治りそう。明日までには何とか。すごいね。特感コーチとはいえ。誰の実力は折り紙付きだ。うん。考えを改める。すり違う無にしまうずっと。Oh no. Is that why she said that she was... Ah, uh, okay. That she was happy to have spent time with him. Ah, shit, man. What the fuck? I was gonna say, o Okra and Kan go, dude. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm totally on board with that. Like, she is destined to go, not, not, not Okarin. I'm sorry, but I couldn't, I couldn't handle that. <laughs> he can't be separated from everybody. <laughs> Man, they sure make a good team, yeah. Now I feel kind of sad for Daru, though. Oh, it's the name? For a second, I was thinking about FB again, but this is FG. ハウ?ふ?その人は今このすぐ近くにいるのです。ずっと思ってたんだ。二人は何かお似合いだった。Oh <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Daru. Oh my god. 
そんなことが理由になるかでもすずさんがいたレジスタンスを作った人の中にはオカリンもバレルタイターさんもいたんでしょ<笑>で2010年の秋葉でタイムリーディングシュークリームシェイプライクアベロリーディングシュークリームにリーディングシュタイナーダルクしかいないでしょわあ、グッジョブマユーリアステマユシーの見つけた一番の証拠はタイムマシンの名前フューチャーガジェットのことだよ。未来ガジェットそしてね、この横にも文字があるでしょ。セカンドエディション ?2.37? Was it the same version n u m b e r e あ、2.31? そのネーミングセンス。Yeah, that's just like he would do it. Even Dara was shocked. Like, shit, she's right. I'm this girl's father. <laughs> that's crazy. Ah, oh, that's so great how it's actually coming full circle like this. Like, she actually found her dad. That's why she was here all this time. Fuck, man. This story is too good. I can't handle this. I need to pause this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Now Dara has to like awkwardly say something, you know, encouraging and convincing, even though he's not in that father role yet. Doesn't feel like that, of course. <laughs> Who was your mom? Oh, God. <laughs> But she, she, I, I thought she can't come back. Like, is she pretending that to them? Because she knows, right? Yeah, okay. That's what it is. She's not even telling them. Except Okrin, who already knows. Right? Yeah. Fuck, man. ねえ、ひょっとしたらこのピンバッジ私たちのイニシャルだったのかな。岡部の柱の<笑><笑> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's quite a privilege, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, it's this guy. How does he tie into all of it? Clearly, he still has a role left for himself, too. Okay, gives him a note. Suzu? Wow, that's fantastic. Took care of him in the past. Oh, fuck. She told him to give that now. No way. Oh my god. Nah, we, we, surely we can still fix all of this. Oh my god. What are these, the, 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 the slaves of the dystopian world or...? What the fuck are we gonna do without her? But that was more than 48 hours ago, right? Can we still fix the, or like upgrade the leap or... <laughs> Shit, man, what now? 
どうしたしけたつらしやがって聞かせてください橋田すずさんの亡くなった状況をあまり言いたくはないんだがな自殺だああ。首をつってな。Out of embarrassments。そんなことになる一年ぐらい前から、精神的に不安定になってな。Yeah, and just sadness。それまでは明るくて、優しい人だったんだが。ちょっと岡部、何するつもり。このままでは。マスーさんと知り合いだったのかええ。あの、その人は。ああ、he's asking him again。これ十年ほどになるかな。自殺。ですか。ああ、もう病気で亡くなったんだよ。あの人の住んでた家は。今は俺が使ってんだ。oh god this is her。okay it's her house。この自転車。now she died of an illness。これはスズさんがすっげえ大事にしてたんだよ。捨てらんなくてな。それまでスズさんはずっと一人で結婚はしてなかったようだななんだか不思議な人だった<笑>縁もゆかりもない俺になんでこんなによくしてくれるんですかと尋ねたことがあるそしたらあの人は笑ってこう答えたよ巡り巡って人は誰かに助けられていって<笑>だから君もいずれ誰かを助けてあげなさいってな<笑>こいつはスズさんの持ち物だった何の数字かわかるかスズさんは病床でいつもこいつを眺めてる。What if it changes now? ダイバージェンスの数値はかる。Oh, okay. Well, that's different. It's still not above one, though. Yeah. 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 Oh shit. What's what's gonna be different now then? Okay, she's sleeping. Is, are we past the the time? How like how does that even work? Oh, dude, I'm so, like, I so don't get it, to be honest. <laughs> But, well, alright. I don't know. I don't know if it's fixed. Okay, real quick, there is one thing about this episode that I had to start off the review with because it was bugging me the whole time, honestly. I didn't get to call it out during the reaction part. But, like, I noticed it straight away in this episode that there appeared to be some kind of like graphical bug going on like you know i don't even know how to explain it but the 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 screen was just sort of fading a lot of the times and a lot of parts even in the in the outro i saw it happening and i'm like i tried refreshing my page <laughs> to see if it would disappear because at first i just figured like oh it's like something to do with maybe crunchyroll i don't know like like i don't know something something weird is going on it might be a, a, a technical error. It's it, Honestly, it might still be part of that, like the render they put up here on their website that could be off or something because I looked back even previous uh, uh, episodes to see if it had the same thing happening and it didn't. And then I go back to this episode and it still has it happening to the point where it's genuinely making me wonder right now, is it purposeful? I have no idea if it's purposeful. It could be. I could see this show totally doing that, being that it's... Um, involves itself with like you know time travel and a bunch of weird you know technological shit to put it like that maybe this could be some very strange way of foreshadowing or i could be 
literally going crazy and once again being a mad scientist here myself. <laughs> Just call me Robin Title from here on out, I guess. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that being said, this episode, once again, fantastic as per usual. I love how everything is coming full circle in the exact way that I had sort of predicted it from the very start, I feel. Well, I was saying this early on that like, I was already looking for all the solutions to a bunch of the questions basically in the same spot, like with the characters that we were dealing with. So that related to Cern, that related to John Titor, it related to um, a couple other things, I guess. I hadn't even considered that like it would relate as well to Suzaha's dad, but all these things we're learning now, right? Like Cern Mocha is in there and, uh, uh, you know, like Max Sakurus, who apparently at some point as well, um, uh, John Titor, of course, we learned is Suzaha. Barrel title now, we're learning it's actually Daru. I fucking love that because I actually had that feeling already the moment that we saw Daru stand there, although it was, I mean, he he um, he explained it away as like, oh, it's me, you know, like, because of course he, he liked Suzua and he wanted to do right by her, I guess, which I still didn't consider that actually doing right by her because, um, you know, it's better to just be realistic, right? But I still had that feeling already from the start, like, shit, what if he's actually your dad? Makes sense why it's called Barrel Title. It's shaped like a barrel, I guess, right? Or something like that. And then later on, we find out, yeah, Daru actually is. I, I, again, it's like, it's so great how all the solutions to these questions, to these um, uh, problems, rather, that we're meant to solve as an audience, all the solutions are right there in front of us. And it's just a matter of getting to them, right? Um, yeah, so, okay, Suza actually went back in time. It does seem like her role is done within this story for now. I mean, I, I don't know. Could she still be coming back? Is there still a way to make that happen in the future? I never quite know if I can rule certain things out. Because it's like, okay, even if the time machine says, like, oh, we can only travel back in time, right? Maybe in the future we can develop some type of technology to still, like, get her back. Or I don't know, you know, like, like that's what I question about that's why i'm never truly sure if i should bother theorizing because it's like well <laughs> there's way too many theories you can come up with you know um but uh but but i do feel like this sort of marked a um yeah and and an to a storyline for now that's definitely what it felt like and it again it was nice because everything came full circle she found her dad that's what a whole story was basically about for a for a while here and so um i really enjoyed that but then yeah, it's fascinating because at first she commits suicide out of like, you know, uh, well, not being mentally all there, it was mentioned, but I guess it was like the sadness and depression that led to it of her failing that caused her to to do that. But then what Okarin did is he sent another D-mail. I wonder what was in that D-mail, who he exactly sent it to, because I don't think we saw the contents of it, right? But what was it that got to have changed it all is what I uh, asked myself. I don't know if it's really important. Um, all that we need to know is like, well, it causes them to not have met her. Okrin is the only one with the memory of her now. Um, and she died this time around of an illness, right? But at the same time, what's interesting is that the divergence number changed. It's still not above 1%, but it changed at least. And Mayuri is not actually dying. So I assume that has to do with the divergence number, right? That like the divergence number... Um, yeah, because it changed, it means that there's different outcomes, that there's different things set in stone this time around. But at the same time, I go like, okay, but why? You know, I still can't quite explain it away, and I, I probably will simply need some more time to think it all through. Um, but for now, once again, this was just a, a great episode. I love, I just love how it is that limited scope that I talked about, which was visible to me from the start, because... Um, because of finding out, especially later on also, that this is or started off as like a visual novel, made a lot of sense to me. You, you deal with more of a limited scope in those type of experiences, I'm pretty sure. And therefore, the, the constantly, the locations that kept coming back, the characters that kept coming back, it was exactly what I had speculated from the start. Like, okay, that means that the, that the answers to all, these, uh, to all these problems, like I said, are also to be found here. And again, we're just finding that out episode after episode. And... Um, yeah, that's why I can't wait to see where we go from here. It's crazy to think that I'm already like two thirds of the way through the main show now. And, uh, you know, all those answers are slowly reaching us, which is what I'm, I'm just loving to see overall. 
For now, guys, I hope that you enjoyed my reaction to episode 16 of Steins Gate. Of course, the next eight episodes will already be up over my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we'll be on episode 24. So I think that should basically conclude. Um, uh, well, it's, it's going to be a nice conclusion point, I think. That uh, you can, uh, you know, like I said, catch up on all of those reactions straight away. Um, along with, of course, the full-length versions if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. With that being said, I want to thank you all for tuning in and look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.